Were you at all surprised to see Maurizio Riva Bene, the team principal of Ferrari, get given the flick at the beginning of the year? Because very few other people seem to lament his departure or to have been very surprised that he, he got himself fired. Well, you know, I never like going personal on these things because I know how hard it is to get into Formula One, to stay in Formula One, to do a good job. I've been around it 35 years now and you see some people successful, others not so. Uh, and as I put in a tweet this week, you don't know what you don't know if you're not inside an organization. But I did observe it and see that things weren't right. And you, you look at some situations, for example, Hockenheim, where Vettel was put under pressure because they didn't do the right things in the team earlier on in the race. And hey, presto, he fell off the road and then he fell out of the championship from that moment onwards. And you look at other things like the slipstreaming in Monza uh, and that. So certain things weren't being done. Ferrari had a great car this year. And unlike the year before, the car didn't start to fail on them and start to run out of steam. But the team didn't make some good decisions. I think Maurizio probably didn't handle the media anything like as well as he should have done. But as I said, you don't know what you don't know because I think Mr. Marchioni, bless him, uh, that was one of his uh, demands that uh, Ferrari, you know, nobody started talking to the media. So, yeah, I wouldn't get personal on that. I certainly wouldn't be negative about Maurizio. But I, I do think Matteo Benotto has got a very good reputation in and, and developing the team. And technically, he's clearly a, a leader of people. But of course, he's now, um, he's the lightning conductor. He's now got to be up front. He's now got to speak to nasty, horrible people like me in the Formula One media. And, um, and he's got to be there and explain why things went well, why they didn't go so well. It's a different job and a different challenge. But I do know from people like Ross Braun and others that I know who have worked with him, he is most highly regarded. So um, I think he'll get the, the car and the engine to where it needs to be. And then the rest of it should be easy if Vettel and Leclerc are doing their jobs. When you're the lightning conductor, though, um, you have a choice, really, don't you? You can either, when, when you attract flak, you can either let it roll downhill, gathering momentum as it impacts on the people below you, or you, you can be that, the conductor and, and direct it away. Like you look at the way Toto Wolff runs Mercedes, uh, you could say that he's, he's taken a lot of responsibility for mistakes the team have made. I think, um, you know, strategic decisions, he's, he's protected their chief strategist on a number of occasions from criticism, even saying, oh, we made the wrong call for Lewis in Russia, I think, because I was talking to him about the price of fish or something. Yeah, obviously Toto's done an incredible job for Mercedes-Benz, and as, as has Christian at Red Bull. But Toto just keeps winning, and he's, he understands how to control and motivate a vast number of highly intelligent, highly creative people. Needs a bit of stick, a bit of carrot, a bit of arm around the shoulder, a bit of a kick up the backside. Um, but at, the, at all times, you've got to protect your own people. And you see in teams, one or two personalities can either gel a team together or destroy it, actually. It's, it's quite amazing to observe sometimes how just some different personalities can have that effect on a vast number of people. Um, so it is, you know, team is the key word. As I've said before, there's no I in team, but there is a me if you search for it. If, if, you, if you draw team in block capitals and you shade in the block bit of the A, you can make an I out of it, out of the leg and the, and the dot in the middle. So you can say, yes, there is. Is that what you do, Codders? Uh, a, a magazine I once worked for had it written on the wall. 